In today's video, I'm going to show you guys 20 tips and tricks on the map bank. Now, these tips were a little bit difficult to come by, so if I did miss any tips in this video that you think I should have mentioned, make sure to leave a comment down below so that other people can see it. But question of the day, what do you guys think of the new camera rework? If you guys haven't heard, any cameras that you throw outside, such as Valcams, Bulletproofs, Evil Eyes, will end up disconnecting after 8 seconds. So similar to Mozzie's drone, if you have a Mozzie drone that goes outside, it will get disconnected after a few seconds. It does the same thing. So that means like Valkyrie, any outside cams will disconnect almost instantaneously. So you won't even be able to use those besides the first few seconds that you throw it out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Starting off with tip number one, I want to show you guys a Valcam setup for the basement objective. So you're going to start by going into garage and throwing your first Valcam onto the side view mirror of this armored truck. The reason behind this is you actually can see through the windows on the armored truck, but they actually can't shoot through the windows. So this Valcam will get a lot of info inside a garage and the attackers can't actually destroy the Valcam unless they go behind the armored truck to then shoot it from there. So moving on to our second Valcam. We're gonna throw it inside a server because server is a pretty common spot that the attackers like to push and they also like to open up the server walls. So our second cam is gonna go right here inside of server. And this gets really good info, not only inside of server, but more importantly, when they get the wall open to go for a plan inside of the objective, you can also see that. Now, besides that, our third Valk cam is gonna go somewhere upstairs. Now you can either throw it inside of square or you can throw it inside of open area. That's gonna be completely up to you. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and throw it inside of open area. And we're just gonna throw it right up in this corner here. This will get you some really good info inside of open area, but more importantly, who is peeking the hatches and what hatches they are peeking. So it's just good to have info there as well. And this can get you the info you need to potentially go for a flank or try to rotate behind the people playing hatches to try to retake hatch control. So if you guys haven't heard of the Valk change coming next season with the outside cameras, we can't, you know, just throw an outside cam on the palm tree, for example, because that does not work anymore. And if you guys haven't heard, the Valk cams outside or any cameras outside would disconnect in eight seconds after being thrown. So in this case, I want to show you guys some inside Valk cams to use for the top floor objective. So the first cam is going to go inside of lobby. This is good because it gets you info in lobby, but more importantly, you could see those north repel windows that a lot of people like to get onto. So it's good to have that info. And typically you would want to have a cam outside, but since we can't do that, we got to utilize what we have. So our second cam is going to go upstairs. We're actually going to go and put it in the wall between stock and long hallway. So we're going to go ahead and open the wall. So you could actually throw it in stock if you want, but in this case, I just want to throw it in between so you can see in stock as well as inside of long haul. And the good thing about this one is you can always go underneath into open area and potentially go for a nitro pick on anybody pushing and hopping into stock trading. Now, besides that, our third Valk cam. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and throw it inside of the objective. Now, this one you can throw in square or you can throw, you know, anywhere else you'd like. But in this case, we're just going to throw it inside of the objective behind the CEO desk so we can see where the attackers are going for a plant. And the good thing about this cam is the attackers on the north repel windows will not really be able to see this Valk cam unless they've thrown it out. But you can see exactly where the attackers are going to go to plant. Now, this next tip is an angle that you can get on the long hallway right outside of janitor door. So if you guys go into the elevator, you can then kind of lean your, your way out of the elevator. You get a pixel between the wall and the flag here. So you get a really good angle on anybody pushing from janitor hallway into long hall. So this is just a good spot to kind of sit in. And you can use that second valve cam I showed you previously to get info if anybody's actually there. Then you can peek the angle. So the reason we're on the roof is because I want to show you exactly what the attackers see in this next tip. So this is actually going to be sort of not really a spawn peak, but just a really good angle you guys can do. So when the attackers are up here, they either go to the roof or drop down. But we're actually going to melee the bottom of the stock trading window and use that to watch people as they walk down or drop down from this AC unit. So you can actually catch them off guard. It's not really too obvious and you might be able to get a free kill with this. Just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying these tips and tricks videos, make sure to leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you guys have not already done so. But anyways, let's get back into it. Now, any veteran players are probably familiar with this angle here, but if you guys open up the top of the wall inside of Tellers, you can reinforce this wall. This is actually above the reinforcement. You're going to vault up onto this printer and try to get onto this divider here. Now, this is a little bit difficult to get into because you have to run onto it. There's no vault prompt or anything, but once you do get it, it really isn't too hard to kind of get used to just getting it more consistently. But once you get onto it, you can see you elevate high enough to peek over the reinforcement and through the hole that I showed you guys. And you can watch people walk into lobby and it's not super obvious. You can make the hole even smaller if you'd like to make it less conspicuous. But as they walk into either of these two ATM doors into lobby, they will be dealing with this angle that they're not really expecting. 
Now this next tip is more of a hiding spot than anything, but if you guys are inside of lobby and you look at this marble desk, you guys will see there's two pretty big cubbies for you to, to kind of prone into. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and prone into it. So if you guys kind of prone in, tuck, lean left, you should be pretty well hidden here. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the camera. But at the same time, remember, your feet are actually going to be tucking to the left more than it looks like on the camera. So it's a pretty solid hiding spot, good for like a calf or just to be sneaky, waiting for people to take lobby control to try to open up some hatches. So the next thing I want to show you guys is an angle to watch the ATM doors. So if you guys are defending upstairs, the lobby might be something that the attackers might try to take. So you can actually use these railings to your advantage to give you some cover and to give you some really good lines of sight on not only the ATM double door, but also the ATM single door. So you can, of course, look through any of these railings, but these two angles are probably going to be the best bet for you. So you can see the ATM single door from here, but more importantly, you could also see the double door. And the great thing about this is there's no more lobby windows from the parking garage. You don't have to worry about getting killed from somebody that's just going on the parking lot and sitting there for the entire round. Now I have another hiding spot for you guys. This is going to be inside of electrical right next to square. So you're going to go ahead and break this broom here and then you're going to do the same thing, kind of tuck in, lean left, try to make sure your feet are in front of you and, and they're kind of tucked to the left, but you can hide in this spot with the cab or anybody else to catch somebody trying to walk into electrical early into the round. Now with these big lobby windows, I guess, uh, you can use this to nitro anybody walking into ATMs from outside. You can use the audio of the doors being broken to know if they're walking in or not, or you can even throw a Valkam in there if you'd like, just to kind of get some info, but you can catch anybody trying to walk into ATMs with this nitro. Now, moving on to the case. So if you guys are defending the basement, make sure you make some head holes across the garage single wall. And the reason you want to do this is because this gives you some really good angles into CCTV, but more importantly, in towards server to help deny the plant. So if you guys have somebody like a Doc, a Rook, or even an Echo, somebody with a 2X or just a, an ACOG that can take some of these gunfights, you can see as they backwards plant into the default spot. So as you guys can see, you can see all the way to that breach that typically gets open. You can use this to get some picks on people kind of rotating around server, but more importantly, deny that plant. Now, it's pretty common to open up a rotate on the left hand side of this red wall facing into CCTV or into server. And the reason behind this is so you can rotate and get some info, but we're actually going to use this to get a really long angle into server from inside of lockers. So we're going to have that rotate there. If you guys make some more head holes across the wall between lockers and red hall, you can hide behind the bomb chassis to peek anybody that is peeking the server doorway, get a little bit of, of, of a pixel. And more importantly, this is good for anybody with a 2x, 1.5, like I said, just like Doc, Rook, or even the Echo to kind of get some picks. But more importantly, if somebody's dropping the elevator hatch, you can use the bomb chassis in the opposite direction to contest anybody trying to swing out from the elevator door into the objective. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry to interrupt the video, but I want to talk about today's video sponsor, and that is Root Insurance. If you guys are like me or you're just getting to the adulthood age, you're definitely going to need some car insurance, and car insurance is not cheap by any means. But with Root Insurance, you guys can save up to $900 a year. All you guys are going to do is check out the link down in the description below, and you can easily just get the app on your phone. Anyways, let's get back into the video. Now, this next one is going to be two Kate spots from down below. So if you guys are defending the Tellers and Archives objective, I know it's one of the third or even fourth sites on this map. But if you guys end up having to defend it, I want to show you guys some Kate spots that you can use in order to deny not only the Tellers wall, but also the loan office wall. So we're going to open the hatch here just to make it a little bit easier, but you can keep this closed. So you're going to go into vault and you're going to throw your cade right where I do. Use the tiles on the roof as a lineup to throw at your cade. And then from there, we're going to make our way into E1 or the vault lobby area. Use the right side of the arm of this couch and then throw your cade straight up above that. And as you guys can see, you'll get not only the loan walls, but you will also end up getting the office walls. Great for the tellers and archives objective just to kind of keep these walls closed so the attackers will not get those open. Now to sort of pair up with the Tellers and Archives objective using those Cade spots, make sure you make feet holes across the Tellers wall. This will allow you as a defender to play on the basement stairs to contest anybody walking in through that left side Tellers doorway. But more importantly, if you guys make feet holes across the entire wall, you can use this to deny the typical default plant that's behind the printer inside of Tellers because you can actually just open up the little divider between the printer and the other side of it. And the reason behind this is you can actually catch people not only walking in the left door, but also walking in this right door here that I'm walking through right now because you can see if you have somebody with a bit good gun, a good sight, you can really contest a lot of these gunfights on people walking into Tellers. Now, this next one's pretty well known, but if you guys go inside of stock trading and you guys shotgun the floor behind this desk here, roughly where I do, 
you'll get some really good angles on anybody trying to hop in and push through that open area window. And if you guys even open up more to the right, you can see them physically hop into the window. You'll see the bottom of their body as they vault in. And I'll go ahead and open the hatch and kind of show you exactly what the attacker sees. So since they added this doorway here, it's not just completely open. The attackers actually won't be able to see you until they already show even more than half of their body and you already be holding the angle. Now this next one is sort of just a little sneaky Kate spot I was kind of playing around, but if you guys are reinforcing the hatches for the basement objective, instead of throwing the Kade downstairs like on the hatch, you can throw it in the corner here tucked behind this desk inside of open area. It reaches the hatch and it's just unknown, you know, it's not super common so people really won't be looking for it. And a lot of the time, if there's no Maverick on the board, the attackers will try to nade or even impact the Kade off the hatch. So if the Kade is not on the hatch and it's upstairs somewhere hidden, they really won't expect it. I know we are Astralis R6, but make sure you guys check out the in-game store and get your hands on the Disrupt Gaming in-game weapon skins for the R4C, the L85, and the two charms while you still can. Anyways, let's get back into the video. Now, another sneaky Kate spot, we're actually going to be able to Kate the server CCTV wall from above. And again, it's just unknown. It's not really common. But if you guys go inside of archives, you just throw your Kate claw right here at the back corner of this shelf at the corner leg and then just go downstairs you'll see that the server wall is cated from above so it's just good to kind of throw your enemies off it's not really expected and a lot of the time if the cade's on the wall normally they can just swing it shoot the cade off they can impact it they can nade it so again it's just something to kind of deter them from even getting this wall open now i have another angle to show you guys inside of open area similar to the one i showed you before but if you open the top of the wall here this is actually the top of the reinforcement so you can even reinforce this wall if you'd like to and we'll make our way upstairs and i'll show you exactly what you guys can see so if you go into stock trading we're actually going to go a little bit further closer to the windows and you're going to shotgun roughly where i do behind this other desk and this allows you to see the actual open area window so you could see people outside of open area window before they even hop in so if you have somebody like a rook or a dock or anybody that can kind of make these holes as well as have a really good gun you can contest people hopping into the open area window before they even get there and it's such a hard angle to see it's it's such a precise angle that a lot of the time they probably won't even know where to shoot in the first place now when you're spawning jewelry front i want to show you guys some cameras you can shoot so of course you can shoot the typical outside default cam but you actually can see the lobby default cam from jewelry front spawn if you have an acog you can shoot it with a 1x sight it's just a lot harder to see but you can also shoot the square cam so you can actually get two of the big default cams inside the building from outside of the map within literally the first 10 seconds of the round starting. Now it's pretty common for people to play the blue stairs with a smoke or just a shield and maybe Ella Shoddy. So they'll have a shield, a couple ADSs, and it's kind of scary to kind of burn those and, and, you know, pop the shield. But what you can do is go above in top square and actually sledge the floor. You can burn the ADSs from up here, but more importantly, you can use this to nade or impact the shield. So you don't have to play close, deal with the shotgun up close or deal with smoke canisters going off. So you can just kind of go from above and clear that out pretty easily. Now, this next one is less of a tip and more of just a reminder that there are two drone holes on the outside of the map that lead to the basement. So this gets you some good info. Not only can you use these to get to this basement site and kind of see what's going on pretty early, but more importantly, you can use this to get some info behind the enemy team when they're not really expecting it. So the first one's going to be on the blue stairs there next to the north windows that you would typically repel on for CEO. And then our second one's going to go by the garage ramp. So you can drone through this one. This is actually a pretty long drone hole, but this actually goes to the E1 lobby or the vault lobby area. You can see the objective if they're here. And more importantly, you can see, you know, what operators you're playing against, where they're going, who's rotating where. And this could be good for even the late round because you could see where the defenders are actually playing late into the round. If you guys enjoy the content I post on the Astralis channel, make sure to check out my socials, which are on screen right now. If you guys want to check out any more content that I post on my own. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. But anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.